Good morning, folks. We are back with our Might and Magic Monders. We are stuck, not stuck, on scenario nine. This is going to be our third and final attempt. So if you know, you know, there's a pattern when it comes to attempt three. The dragons come out. We will not speak of them again moving forward. They just um, happen to be there, if you know what I mean. Um, I'm hoping that it goes smoothly. Whether or not it does go smoothly, I don't know. Because um, it's me we're talking about. So we're already kind of like at the end of like the first turn, you know, because of said flags. And um, Normie, 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 eh, eh. And we're gonna go on in because I wanna just fucking smash it out today. If you know what I'm saying. Let you go. I've literally moved everyone, like I said, you know, you know how it goes, you know how it goes. First thing that I'm loading, I'm sa loading? First thing I'm saving for is obviously to get my castle on the go. So we're on the lookout for a little bit of ore. Oh, she is doing her usual. She's making the beeline for the portal because that fucking works. Gold is always a problem. We're not going to take 500 XP. We're going to go for gold. What you talking about? What you, what you thinking? What you taking? What you, the gibberish. That's what I say. We also want to get, again, like usual. Who are you side-eyeing? <laughs> no. We don't need navigation. Yes, we want to get all our dwarves. We want to get all... All our dwarves. We're going to get our statues in first, actually, if we have enough money. Well, that's the only one that can't get a statue straight away, so... We want to get our reinforced mantos because basically all the defending, well, previous defending armies are all going to be taken out. She's going to ignore the artifacts because they're not useful to her. He needs a spell book actually. We're going to do just what we've been doing the previous couple of times. Going to get all the ar as many artifacts as we can. As many dwarves as we can because of the Dwarven Alliance and stuff. Oh, are you so nice? Oh, that's that's Adams, right, right, right. Adams monthly. <laughs> Is he on a period? <laughs> I'm hilarious. Oh, bless. No, it's always sweet that he does that. It's sweet. I'd rather me have it than anyone else. Oh, no, we can't afford it. Never mind. I was going to say I'd rather I have it than someone else fucking has it. Has it, but... He reminded me the other day when I was in the house. Whoa! Ooshies! Fence Meadow, Fence Meadow needs Stone Hedge, Stone Hedge needs Archery Range, Bump. We need to collect a good whack of gold, but she needs to just get to the portal. We're gonna take that XP though. 
And the doors. Crystal's always handy. We're going to need that at some point. Alright, that's as far as you can go. Can you get the statue now? No. Well, we'll get it tomorrow. So Stonehenge now needs Mage Guild. Mage Guild can't be built either. Cathedral needs archery range, blacksmith. What do you need for the blacksmith? The well and the thatch top, which we already have. Again, we just need moolah. So we'll hold on to all our resources for now. Right, she has semi-arrived. More dwarves. Bingo Bangarino. We get the statue now. Thieves Guild's always handy. Give me all your shit. Spell par. But you don't even have a thingy. Mm. My gum hurts. I don't know what I've done. I want to send him back up the way to that then. Yep, she's stand put for the foreseeable future. He's going north. We'll get him to upgrade his shit on the way. It's a new week, so these guys have just replenished 900 quid left not really a whole lot you can do with that we need what eight more ore and then 5k gold to be sitting there Fuck's sake. Well, it's that first, like, actual fucking battle. More than likely, though, the dragons are going to be doing all of the work. You think you're going, my guy? I think was that the one that wasn't working? Do you remember? Like, there was there was a specific one we tried to do. Oh. You goober. That's the one. <laughs> but do you remember there was one we were trying to do that didn't work? And we were like, huh? 
Đi bộ I think so Take the XP Eh, I'll take logistics Are you, are you just trying them all now? You just test them all, make sure they all work. <laughs> right, they're in two. Happy days. That's true. Gem is We need two more gemsies. So we're on the lookout for some gems. We don't have any gem income at the Uno Momento. So it is what it is. Getting you the blacksmith in. I think what I'm going to do is recruit someone else. Take the money, get the dwarves. Hmm, see red's gonna be all over here in a minute. They come in week two or three or something. So I'm just a bit cautious of that, let's say. We do need to get us some jams though. Do you want to fight a red dragon for it? I'm risking it. Red dragon doesn't have as much health. We have what, 500? 300? They have 250. Well, that was easy. We do need the, the income. An extra thousand gold a day. That's fucking fantabulous. Yes, please. The ability to learn fifth level spells would be super fucking handy. Money. Some sulfur, right, okay. You can now become a castle. And then we've got like no money left. You're getting them together. You can then go get these boyos. Then I think what we're gonna do is we want to do we swapsy poos here. And you're gonna need to go back there. So tomorrow we'll be able to get our fenced meadow. So I don't think I'm gonna spend any other money. Because then everything's gonna need to be recruited again. And we're gonna sync up with him and just do a wee exchangey poos. So for him, I want everything to be like damage and luck and you know, stuff based. So I think we're gonna swap out the gold one with your other fella. Mm. 
better luck, more morale, more morale. You can also take them. And then I think I'm just going to have him run between here and here every week. So what I'll do is, like every week he can go here, collect shite, collect shite. And then, you know, go here, kind of like redig the armies and such. Collect shite, collect halflings, and then, you know, like go back down and kind of build like his army up that way. And primarily, he's going to be sitting here. So they should be like that instead. So the defending army should always be sitting here with what then needs to go. So they'll get taken, they'll get taken. They'll get taken and this is the actual defending army. So it'll probably look something like that. And we're going to hang on to the rest of our money for this turn. Ooh, extra hydro growth. That's terrifying. Not going to lie. We're going to upgrade these boyos. Merge them in. And then we're going to go on upsies. And like I said, what he's then going to do is every week he'll get... Okay, so if it's, if it's 10 a week, that's going to be very handy. You'll get here. You'll always sit and have what's going to get taken as well as then the defending army. So we're saving for that next. So we've got enough mercury. We do not have enough ore. So we will purchase things that don't require ore. Or build things that don't need ore. Cliff Nest, Ivory Tower, Mage Guild, Foundry. You also use ore. So anything here that doesn't require ore we'll go for okay we don't have the money left to upgrade them that's okay that's acceptable and you're gonna do basically that little south west corner and then hopefully constantly eliminate enemies that end up around here so that's more of like a defensive army in that territory area still working towards getting our 30 no We want to keep building stuff as long as it doesn't require any ore. Right, that's fine. Always end up needing that at some point anyway as well. Extra morale, have tools. So we're going to exchange with him units and then he's going to go in. Oh shit. He's going to go in and get a spell book and then he can go on the move and you can go back in there. And you're back to the defense Bending army. Grand.
Everyone's recruited, yeah. So, as long as you don't require ore, we will purchase you. There we go. You can go on mosey on down there. So we semi have a plan. Hopefully it goes well. One can only hope. Get you. Now with shit going on in this little area. Can't reach, so you may as well as continue going down. Gonna grab shit here as well. Your stamp put. Now we need to get our money up. So we're not gonna buy. We're not going to spend a penny for the next couple of days. Hopefully we can come across some moolah as well and get this gold mine. Get these dwarves here. Them dwarves there. That gave us two sulfur. It is what it is. Go on down here. You're staying put. We've got that money sorted, so now we'll have phoenixes on the go. So he can get them dwarves. Um, and basically, oh, we'll, 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 take, we'll take this while it's here in front of us. And I'm metal in it. And then we're going to go back and sort these guys out. So now we can start recruiting phoenixes. We are getting quite a chunk of money per turn, which is good. We do need to start pushing up to red soon though. Day seven, so everyone's about to need recruited again. I think we can afford to spend that money though. We'll get the Phoenix, it will get the stuff for the attacking army first. These on these anything else that can you know be recruited is great okay that should be everything recruited there So he needs to go on the move. Kind of get this area back. He's gonna go here and then loop up with him and then push on up to red. Because we don't want red to start getting dragons anytime soon. That's going to leave us in the shit. He can still explore, Tad. 
not everything's recruited here, so I'm just gonna boop, boop, boop. Nice. Next thing we're working up towards then is the cathedral. So the cathedral needs the archery range blacksmith armory, which it has. We just need to get our crystal up now. So we can still buy stuff as long as it doesn't require any crystal. And we need to then get to like the crystal mines and stuff. Command, command them really. He should have enough move points to give these to me and get back. So they go in there, they go in there, they go in there, and then you can get back. Nice. Yeah, I don't believe we have any crystal income. No. So we're just chipping away at buying absolutely fucking everything. As long as it doesn't require crystal. We're grand! What day of the week is it? Three. He still has to move. We could put some pressure on orange. Oh, there's crystals down there. You can get that next turn. Death Ripple could be helpful. Well, I don't ever really want to damage my own people. Should be then getting crystal every turn now. We can also upgrade these guys. How much is it going to cost to upgrade these guys? 1,900? All right. Not too shabby. We're gonna come across red here in a wee second when we get up up here. Obviously just don't want them having access to more resources. Nine crystal out of what, 20? Mm. I think I'll get a marketplace for here. Marketplace for here. We should be getting the best prices now. So we'll do 10, 20. Right, that's 14, so we're only like six days away. We'll leave it like that. Don't know if they are going to start attacking us. He's Sammy running. If he keeps going down that way, we're not going to chase him because we need to push up to their castle which is up here there's the necromancer castle hmm two flying we'll see Nothing to recruit. We'll upgrade these guys. It's day six. Still got a chunk of money though. I'm 
we'll leave it at that. Or we'll recruit someone for in here, maybe. There's not really actually any point in doing that, because that's they're sturdy enough and we do have the captain's quarters. So if we get attacked by them, we should be okay. But he's not attacking us and he's going south, so... We're just going to ignore ignore that and push on up because we want to get to red. I don't think we're going to get to red. Before, no, we're not going to get to red in the next day. But this is going to be our only real opportunity to go for the necromancers. So it looks like probably his magic himself on the 16th. Yeah, his knowledge is very, very high. Spell power isn't great, but he has a lot of spell points, which is a problem. We don't have slow, but we do have curse. Damn. They're in the shit already up there with the gargoyles, but we're going to go down here. Hopefully we don't lose a dragon. Looks like they're all gonna focus on the dragon, so we might. It's gonna take a good while for fours to get in. Cause we're waiting then on Can't attack them head on either. Hmm. Hopefully he doesn't know like reanimate or resurrect or whatever it's called. We're gonna get our rocks to try to be a little bit helpful. Definitely gonna lose a dragon. 68 left. Yeah, that's not good. Twenty-eight left. Ooh no. He's still going to be able to get around me. So we'll be down to four dragons. But it is what it is. If we can hold on to this castle. And Orange doesn't get then another castle. Orange is out already. Ideally, I'd want to like get red out of the way SCP, but um, I just don't want them to have access to dragons. This is helpful shit. Very helpful shit. Oh my god, it keeps going. Yes, 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 yes. That makes me happy. Right. I know that that was the effectiveness of your summoning spells an extra 1k gold to get day extra mercury a day knowledge by four knowledge by five so that's why his knowledge was so high wow okay that was super helpful okay so orange actually still has a castle somewhere So they all have one one castle. 
And we all have no times. Right, oh, we've just learned this though. Mass curse will probably be quite helpful, but he needs to kind of stay put for the time being. We know that we've kind of possibly removed their chances of getting the like the bone bone dragons, I think is what they're called. I don't I wanted to say skull dragons for some reason, but like there's an undead dragon. No, Bone Dragons. I was right the first time. Woo-woo. Um, because it's day seven and they're not going to be able to like build their army back up again. Which is fun. Dobby Dozeri knows. And we're making a beeline then for Red. Red is still our biggest threat at the moment. Get some of them in. Just a little bit of bulking ourselves out. We'll get the reinforcements in for our main army. Even though our main army is indisposed. That's a pretty good, you know, defend an army regardless. Right, no money left. They're kind of just going around taking resources and such. Really just want to get on over here. We want to try to take as much resources off orange as then we can. Kind of keep, you know, pushing them back. So, we know Roland's on his own. They have two. So, everyone else has two. Apart from us, we have more. Okay. We want to keep red as poor as possible. As weak as possible. Is there any way for us to get another... Thieves Guild. Do you have a Thieves Guild? No, you don't. Right, Grant. So we have the total army strength. Red has now just got dragons there on red dragons. So we really, really need to fucking push there. And just get that done and dusted and out of the way. Because that can become a big problem real fast. If they have access then, you know, to black dragons and stuff. I'm hoping the army, our main army that we're sending is beefy enough to manage it. They sh he should be. But the worry. Well, to be honest, I'd have to upgrade to green after and then to black. So that would actually save us some moolah. should be okay I've got eight they're annoying they're annoying definitely more of a threat there's two of them so what we need to do then is they have three flying units and we have two so even if like I put my phoenixes here my black dragons here whatever Someone's still going to be able to attack my elves. My elves are probably going to die anyway. So we're best just going straight for trying to do whatever damage we can. And they have their fucking turrets, so bye bye elves. One phoenix already dead. So 
will probably only do like what 20 damage or something 30 I'd rather lose phoenixes and black dragons at this point We can call in some help here though Nice Griffins are gone Got some blood lost on here Black Dragon should be able to manage up here by themselves. Don't think you're going to do 46 damage. No. But we knew you were probably going to die anyway. They're really trying to keep my dwarves out of this as well. Right, just the one dragon to go and then we're fine. What's it on? 37 damage. What this is gonna do? Fucking nothing. Don't wanna do that though because we'll hurt our own dragons as well and fuck that. So we lost the phoenix and we lost all of our elves, but we managed to take here already and here already. So that's fucking fantastic news. Also, we can now see that red has no castles. So if we just hold all the castles that we currently have for the next week, so day three next week, red's gone. Oh my god, that fucking weather. Holy shit. Is it trying to fucking snow? Sorry. <laughs> you probably just saw me fucking turn fucking super white as I went to the light. Um, what was I saying? Yeah, so if we hold here for a week, red's done and dusted. Apparently, orange still has something somewhere. And then using all them armies, we should be able to swarm green. So we're making good progress. I think they're all recruited as well, aren't they? Two, two little duties. We can upgrade to black tar straight away, and then start actually growing our own black dra growing our own black dragons. <laughs> Have we grow farm going? Have we black dragons? And there we go. Now we're up to seven. And then what I usually take from here is these. They can replace them. They can stay here as a defending army. Or 16, seven. Yeah, that's because um, they're faster. Grand. So we're actually just going to sit here for like a week. Keep an eye 
on our thieves guilds. We have the most castles. We have the most heroes. Best income. Total army strength. Orange is best stuff as fucking cavalry. You've green has you know got all the, the there's all the way up, which is fine. Red's about to go. Um but red go in, we'll finish off orange next, and then green should be simple enough. They're gonna have high attack and defense, but you know, if we have all our like black dragons on the go and shit, we should be just fine. And as long as we're not spending any crystals right now, we should be able to spend a couple of quid. There we go. Land this one. So red are no longer a threat at all. Red aren't a threat anymore at all, which is fantastic. Then, orange is clearly gotten. A castle somewhere. It's not that there though so it's probably here because I know the green ones there is what it is day seven so we'll collect some of these we'll collect some of these and then we'll head on off Don't really like to use Death Ripple, to be honest. Should be able to get the cathedral in now. Bingo fucking bingo. It's gonna be a new week. So red only have about two days. Most important things to recruit right now. Our dragons and minotaurs. So this is our army now, as well as more phoenixes. You dancing? More unicorns? More elves? Anything else that we're recruiting now is a bonus. Oh shit! So we'll get them. And a weed, a weed dwarf, man. Let's move off from here now. Um, until I'm done, and I'm, I'm gonna be done. It's not actually gonna be um that long, to be honest. We're gonna creep up around here. Oh, that's going into green territory. We need him to sort of um, root orange out from here and he can go for, for green. Yeah. So red's about to be obliterated. Orange should be simple enough. And then there's really just green. Um, no, next week would be the final, the last scenario so there's 10 scenarios the scenarios and this is scenario 9 so it would be the week after would be able to move on
Probably do something like that. We're getting there. We're getting there. Right, that's red done and dusted. So don't need to worry about red anymore. We need to just make a beeline for orange and green. So we can sort out Green's Castle here on our way. And then he's looping around this way to try to figure out where orange is at and what they're doing. Everything's recruited here. Trying to get you upgraded. Fine. Actually need to get these guys in there. Which means... 7, 11, 9, 11, 4 to 6, 3 to 4, 30, 20. You can get swapped out then. Do something like that. Oh, I didn't realize I left that so undefended. My bad. Hopefully no one um, sneaks past me here, actually. That would have been a dumb, dumb move on my behalf. Right, so we've got to Burton. Lots, several lots. Should be fine. We've got quite a fucking chunky army. Need to figure out where orange is. Bingo, bango. There we go. These are all stamp put. Upgrade this. Don't have enough money. That's fine. Get some of them in. Get one of them in. I didn't really leave you very well defended either, to be fair. We'll just keep a, an eye on what direction they're all going in. But we'll have superior armies regardless. This shouldn't be an end of the world battle either. Are you hungry? Oh, speaking of which, I actually have yummies. Thanks, dear. Mmm. As one woman would say. You just reminded me that I had yummies. I brought sweeties in here in front of me. We're pinned in the wolves here sort of on purpose. But we've lost two phoenixes. Oh shit, no mana. Bring the phoenixes down here now. The wolves can't get all the way out to the phoenixes, so they're gonna go for the dragons. Dragons murdered them. We're gonna block him off from getting to the phoenixes as well. No point. No point.
Okay, another phoenix is dead. I think what I'll don't know of no spell points. I'll just pull that might. Not the end of the world. We need to actually get them reinforced though. You could probably do some damage here. Only five? God damn. We lost a dragon. That's that castle taken out as well. So now we're just going to sit on this. Kind of babysit here. Let's consult our thieves guild. So now green have no castles. What we're now waiting on is to hold everywhere for a week. They're safe, they're safe and they're safe. So we need to focus on defending here. And here. I might actually send you north because if, if we lost here that wouldn't be the end of the world but we can't have them having access to dragons so we're going to send them north. And you're staying put. So a week from now if green doesn't get a hold of anywhere so day five next week if green doesn't get any castles green's gone too let's cut off some resources for orange you've recruited everything you can recruit but let's work on Increasing our defenses here a smidge. Right, that's like everything fully upgraded here, everything fully upgraded here. Units wise, apart from the pal Paladins. I always go to say like Crusaders or Paladins and I can never remember which fucking one it is. You're still staying put. Why not? You're gonna try to traverse up here to defend here. Even though I think there's a green going for there. I saw him sort of start going this direction, I believe. There he is. Strong one. Mm, yeah, you'd still be kind of in trouble, wouldn't you? Although it's nearly the next day, so that's not quite the end of the world. And we can get the mausoleum in now, so we can start getting a fucking pew pew. We've recruited everything here. Goblins. Wolves. Day seven, so all our money is going to go into our weaker cities. But 
some money in there. Currently still Orange is the only one with the castle left. A couple more days. Green should be gone. We're just making a beeline north at the Inno Momento. These guys are staying put. You're still working on making sure you're defending army, sweet. No. Okay. Fine. The rest of these guys is kind of all we can do there. Some goblins. Some orcs. Get a wee random sprite. A couple more days. Nice stuff sitting here. Two more days, green should be gone. And then we're just gonna make a beeline for orange. So you could just plonk in here and then we can sort of go here to start closing in on orange and you can go make a beeline straight for the orange castle. We'll finish recruiting in here nice little army here as well not an army we need to be worrying about being weak if they're attacked don't need to worry about that This should be green gone. Nice. So now we're just going to make a beeline for orange and we should be fine. You don't have anything we can't deal with. Everything's recruited here. Finish off recruiting here. And here as well. I think everything's recruited here too. Everything that has, you know, everything we've got space for. It's recruited there as well. Just in case someone gets past us, we're gonna go recruit here. So we're making a beeline for the castle. And he is sort of chasing down heroes. This shouldn't be an awful battle either. You don't know lightning or anything now? All right. get rid of these ends.
don't really want to bother moving there. Okay, they fled. They're done and dusted. Grand. Gonna create a bit more here. Back to the start. Let's just upgrade some shite. Shouldn't be a hard battle either figure out where that other one was was it down here somewhere oh, I can't remember oh they're there Can't really do much else in these areas, in these castles. Nothing else to really build. We're gonna get to the castle then next turn. And you're going to continue to chase them. Not a terrifying army either. Get our recruiting done. Oops. The candles are making a very weird noise. Like they're about to explode or something. All right, we'll go in and we'll do this one real quicksies. We're just gonna send the black dragons in to really do that demolishing. And then we'll sit here. So now all we're doing is sitting on here for a week. Or... She isn't dying, this guy. Or these these two, really. And once we're eradic they're eradicated, we manage to catch both of them. Then we'll be grand. That'll be us fucking one.
Okay, you're trying it. That's fine. I mean, you can still take this army out. You've got, you know, 27 fucking cavalry, like. You can still pack a punch. Your defense is shit, though. I think we need to just use our magic to our advantage. Oh dear. It's gonna die, but it'll be basically all that army gone. Because we just could just poke out our main, our main dude. I thought my black dragons were going to retaliate there and take out my, what do you call them? Mummies? Black dragon really can't take much more here at all. But we nearly wiped them out. Nearly. Not quite, but nearly. That must have been her strongest army. Where's it go here? Where's the other one? Seventy five damage isn't actually awful. Oh, 
I had to go wait for the bang. Failed miserably. And now we're just playing TSEs with this one. And then both of them armies are going to catch them, but you're going to get there first, so. Then it will be victory is ours. <laughs> we kind of could just let the pew pews do everything to be fair. But, um, you know, you get phoenixes and dragons for a reason, so, you know. I mean, 204 peasants can, you know, pack a, a bit of a fucking punch, like. You know, 71 damage would take out, you know, would still take out, like, what, a Minotaur and stuff? So, that will be Orange has been vanquished. And the enemy has been beaten and your side has triumphed. I'm going to put my headset on for two wee seconds because I just want to hear what Roland is going to say to us leading into the final battle, which will be Scenario 10. At last, the war draws to an end. My brother refuses to surrender in the face of your army and instead sends his undead army to continue their war against his own people. I must redirect defense of the kingdom. I have decided to put Lord Hard in charge of the defense and you in charge of the attack against my brother's weakened army. You have three actions to the holdings you recently confiscated from Archibald's vassals. Use them wisely and capture my brother. Let us bring the civil war to an end. So scenario 10 is called the final justice. We have our Dwarven Alliance, our Sorceress Guild, carry over our forces and Corlegon defeated. What Corlegon defeated gives us, I'm not 100% sure, but it does say you, this is the final battle. Both you and your army are armed to the teeth and all are allied against you. But if we capture Archibald, we end the war. So we get a Tax Lane Hideous Mask or a Fizbin Medal. I'm going to go for the tax lane just simply because I think that's something to do with money. Message from Roland says, General, circumstances permit me to take a hand in the events of this final conflict. I have your spoils of war with me and I will follow your ex your advice explicitly. So Roland's starting army here now is what our end and army was in scenario eight. So if you remember scenario eight, we were able to like get the um, warlock city sorted, and then I recruited like obviously loads of um, loads of stuff from there, and then I kept the rocks as well just because they're fast and they can you know fly. Flying units are fucking helpful. Then we have a sorceress, a knight, a wizard, and then we have. A knight castle, a sorceress castle, and a wizard castle. So we have three castles. We've got the Dwarven Alliance. We've got dragons already. We start with a little bit of resources. Not a lot. But it did tell us everyone's allied against us. We have zero attack, two defense. Okay, so the tax lane that I, that I um, chose gives us 250 gold pieces per turn. Which is nice. Oh, and these are fucking fully upgraded, which means I'm going to assume they can do Black Dragon straight away. Which is definitely a problem. Do we have any Thieves Guilds? No, we don't. Probably going to be one of the first things I want to do. Um, but we will leave it there for today, folks. And next week then we will go on to actually 
fucking smashing the shit out of this one, I hope. We've got a nice, you know, head start in terms of we've got a little bit of an army. But if we can recruit, like, Phoenixes, Titans, and um, Paladin straight away, that means he can recruit fucking Black Dragon straight away, which is a severe problem. We can only hope that we're going to be a little bit faster than him. Because maybe he, you know, I started with 12 Black Dragons. Maybe he's going to start with zero and he needs to get his money up and his sulfur up and all that other type of stuff. But there's only one way to find out. And we're going to find out that next week. Tomorrow we'll be back with our Age of Wonders 4. We have finally, fucking, finally, 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 after fucking months, moved out of the Eternal Court realm. Woohoo! And we're going into, I think it's called, like, Story, Story Realm 5. And then, I can't remember the fucking realm's name. Um, but we'll be moving into that then tomorrow. We'll have our Warhammer Wednesdays um, on Wednesday. Warhammer 3 has just started, so that'll be part two of that on Wednesday. Then we're going to be back with our Sims 4 58 in a household on Thursday. Raid Shadow Legends on Friday. And then we're still in the middle of a vote for what our simulator game is going to be on Simulator Saturday. So I've just done Supermarket Simulator there Saturday past. So right now the three options are um, Farming Simulator police simulator and then planet zoo which is like a zoo builder simulator kind of game um we currently have one vote for farming simulator one vote for police simulator so you can go into the discord if you're not in there already and you can submit your vote and we'll see what we end up playing but there's still loads of days left oh oh there's still loads of days left so you'll be fine and on that note 